Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Glacial Geek Battle Report. I am Phil the Glacial Geek, coming to you here from Mini Wargaming Studios in Welland, Ontario, Canada, where I'll be fa fighting a 1,500-point battle between my Ordo Xenos and Steve Orcs. <laughs> so you might know Steve from Mini Wargaming and uh, Mountain Miniatures Gaming. Uh, go check it out. I will put uh, the link to, uh, everyone knows where Mini Wargaming is, but I'll put the link to his channel for sure down in the description below so you can go check it out. Uh, awesome stuff there. Uh, check it out. Good times are going to be had by all. Uh, so the story that we've got going on here today is that uh, Eisenhorn himself was on this planet uh, investigating uh, the uh, what was a a, it looked like a derelict uh, Space Hulk that had come into the system and there were uh, reports of, of, of problems arising from it. And as he arrived on this planet to uh, prepare himself to go off to the Space Hulk, uh, in suddenly came the uh, landing uh, the landing force of an orc wah as it descended upon the uh, planet. So he called in uh, the assistance of the rest of the Ordo Xenos here uh, to come and try to uh, see if they can stop this before it became a full-blown Xenos infestation. Uh, so that is the story that we've got going on. Uh, we are going to be playing uh, Mission... Oh, I can't remember the name of it. We're playing one of the missions from... <laughs> From chapter approved 2017, uh, basically there's three objectives in the middle here, uh, and we've just got to try to, to get them. It's something... Ascension? Ascension. Ascension. Yeah. It's Ascension. So we're going to be playing Ascension. Um, and I think there's... We'll figure it out in a second. So we'll look at it again. But Because uh, I put the book aside and I forgot to make sure I remembered what I said. <laughs> uh, so we're playing Ascension. We got the three objectives in the middle here. Uh, but before we go any further, though, let's show you the two armies that are going to be fighting it out. So for the Inquisition, I'll be running a Vanguard detachment and a Battalion detachment. Leading off the Vanguard detachment, we have Eisenhorn and three Inquisitorial Acolytes with hotshot LAS guns. And for the Death Watch Battalion, we have a Watchmaster and a Librarian with a Force Axe and Bolt Pistol. We have two 10-man intercessor squads. One squad has five intercessors and five hellblasters, and one squad has five intercessors and five aggressors. We have two veteran squads, one five-man squad with two stalker pattern bolt guns, and one eight-man squad with a vanguard vet with a pair of lightning claws, a thunder hammer storm shield, a black shield with a power sword, and a sergeant with a Xeno phase blade. And last but not least, we have a Land Raider Crusader with a Storm Bolter. Then for the orcs, he'll be running a battalion detachment. Leading off that detachment, we have a Big Mech with a shock attack gun and a Weird Boy. We have two sets of boys and one set of grots. We have a 30-man squad of boys with Slugga and Choppa. The knob has a Power Claw. We have a 12-man squad of grots, and we have a 20-man squad of boys with with shooters, two rockets, and the knob has a combi rocket. We have a three-man squad of killicans. One killican has a clan claw and a custom mega blaster. One of them has a driller and a rocket, and the other has a buzzsaw and a big shooter. We have two death dreads with two scorches each. We have two DACA jets with extra shooters. And last but not least, we have a Morka knot. All right, so just to let you know, Ascension is basically at the end of each turn, you score a victory point for each objective marker that you control. Characters basically gain uh, like super obsec, uh, where characters uh, gain control of it regardless of anything else. Uh, and then if characters control an objective for more than one turn consecutively, they gain uh, more than one point. So if they control it for two turns, they get they get two points uh, for that turn. And if they controlled it for three turns, they control they get three points, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, that is the mission. <laughs> Going over deployment, we've got here, I've got my Land Raider. Inside of the Land Raider, I have uh, my eight-man squad of veterans. I've got my Watchmaster. I've got my Librarian. And I've got Eisenhorn with his retinue of the three Inquisitorial Acolytes. I've got my five-man squad of veterans up in the building here. I've got my 10-man intercessor squad with the aggressors over here. I also have the other intercessor squad is in the um, teleportarium. Going over deployment now for the orcs, we've got 
his big mech with the shock attack gun all the way up here in the tower looking down on everything. Uh, we've got the Grots right here in front of him. We've got the 30-man squad of boys with the Choppas and Sluggas. We've got the Shooty Boys back over here. We've got the Mor Gorka? Morka. Morka Ah, oh, I, I doubted myself. I was saying Morka, went Gorka, should have stayed Morka. So Morka over here. Uh, we've got the Killicans in front of him over here. And we've got the two uh, Daka Jets over here. Inside of the Teleporta, not to be confused with the uh, Teleportarium, two completely different things. Uh, he has the uh, the two Death Dreads are going to be uh, dropping down, probably scaring the crap out of somebody eventually. Uh, so that is the deployment. Uh, as of right now, the Orcs are going to be going first. Unless I can seize the initiative. Looking for a fill face. Show me not fill face. New no fill phase, so we'll come back to you after a movement phase for the orcs here on turn one. All right, so my opponent's, uh, it, Steve's uh, warlord trait was cunning but brutal. So after the, my try to seize there, he rolled and rolled uh, D3 and rolled a three. So his warlord, which is his big mech, and three other units got to uh, redeploy. So he redeployed uh, his uh, killicans over here. He redeployed his uh, Morkonaut back a bit, and he moved the boys up in front of it, and he moved his big mech with the shock attack gun over there behind them. So uh, that is that. So we'll come back to you still after movement phase. All right, movement phase for the orcs here on turn one. His Killicans moved up here, jumping on the objective. His uh, Daka Jets flew up over here, taking some positions to look down on my guys. Uh, this squad of boys, they just, they kind of just, yeah, they're just going to stick around over here for reasons. Uh, the Grots here moved along over this way, advanced over here to uh, to make a, a rear guard line over there. Grot trails, probably. And then we've got the, his, uh, his Big Mech stood where he was, his uh, Morkonaut moved up over this way, and uh, these boys here advanced up here, jumping onto the objective. Uh, so that is going to be it for the movement phase. We'll come back to you with the psychic phase. All right, so he uh, spent the command point to make him a level two Psyker. So his first one, he's going to do Warpath onto Warpath. these boys here. So this is going to be plus a whole bunch. Oh, plus, oh yeah, because he gets plus uh, one for every ten, and, right? And Scorched Bones for the Relic. So plus one and for that, and then plus one for every ten. Not Gretchen anymore. Not so Gretchen, so it's going to be... Four, five, six. Yeah. That is a peril. That is a perils. So he does perils, but it does go off. Two. Takes two, uh, two wounds there. Uh, but he it does go off. So these guys are now warpathed. And now he is going to cast the jump onto them over here. Uh, again, going off with seven, but uh, he because he gets plus three for these guys being here, plus one because of his relic, which is Scorched Bones, and plus two for those guys over there. So it was exactly what he needed to get barrels. Uh, but he only takes oh, one God. wound, so he's still alive. Yeah, buddy. All right, so he jumped over here, so that he's with uh, just outside of nine inches of my dude bro over here. All right, Steve's gonna spend two command points on Daka 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 on his Daka Jet, which seems appropriate, and he is going to shoot into my uh, intercessor squad over here, who looks a whole lot like aggressors as well. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Uh, these are gonna be uh, hitting on fours, um, and those fives and sixes you get extra attacks because of, right? Yes which is pretty good. So you got one, four, and then you get an additional seven more attacks here. All right. They bought me three. That's pretty good. These are now strength. Six. Strength six, toughness five, so looking for threes to wound. So we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight wounds there. AP, what's that AP one. minus? AP one. AP minus one, so we're gonna have uh, four up saves. So we have eight four up saves. Looking for, yeah, four ups. So I failed four of them, which means that uh, two of my guys are dead. And then his other Daka Jet is going to fire into them as well. Uh, no Daka Daka Daka, so just uh, sixes giving him the extra shots there. I'll remember to reroll my ones uh, because of bad moons. Rerolling ones because of bad moons. Pretty good. So that's one, two, three, four um, sixes there. So he gets an additional four uh, shots. Pretty good. That's how you do it, Steve. Oh, buddy, buddy. Here we go. Looking for threes to wound. All right. So we've got, uh, what uh, is that? Nine. Five, nine wounds. So that's going to be eight, nine wounds. Looking for four ups as well. Oh, boy. Oh. So losing, failing another five. So that means another two guys are dead and one guy's taking another wound. 
All right, so now these guys are gonna fire into uh, my aggressors over here. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, intercessors. <laughs> <laughs> so five of them are in range. Uh, they advance, so looking for sixes to hit, and that's still two extra shots because of Daka Daka, but no luck there. So these are strength, uh, looking for five, so no wounds there. But then we have uh, three rockets hitting on sixes. No, nothing there. All right, so his Morkanaut is gonna shoot everything into my aggressors over here. So we're gonna start with the Actually, scratch out. We're start with the big shooter. We're gonna start with the big shooter. Um, I imagine because it's probably one damage, and yeah, you've got a guy yeah, that's wounded yeah, here. There we go. All right, this ain't my first rodeo, there, Steve. So here we go. Big shooter hitting on uh, fives. Reroll the ones because of bad moons. All right. Uh, just getting the three hits, but that is two two wounds, right? Oh, just the one wound. Oh, no, so you're right. Big shooter, right? Yeah, big shooter. All right, so I know I know a thing or two about my green brethren over here. Uh, so that's going to be two wounds there. Uh, AP minus big shoot is minus nothing. Oh, minus nothing. Yeah. So we're looking for three up saves. Ah, uh, yeah, oh. making them both. Woo! And here comes the custom mega zappa. So heavy D, uh, heavy D, three D three. <laughs> that's easy for me to say. Let me tell you. So that's going to be a whole bunch there hitting, hitting on uh, fives, sixes. Do they? Yeah, they also oh, yeah. benefit from Daka Daka. All right, so nothing there. So he still gets three hits. Uh, strength eight. Strength eight, so two, uh, threes to wound. So that's going to be two wounds, AP three. minus three. So these are looking for six up saves. Uh, making one with oh! a full face, but failing one. So D6 damage. Ooh, so yeah, that guy is just really blown up. And now the custom Mega Blaster going in there. Nope. That is not a hit. Two, two rockets. And two rockets. Nope. No, nothing there. All right, the heavy shock, shock, shock attack gun, sorry, I'm trying to get my words right here, is going to fire into my aggressors. So you have to roll the strength first. Oh, he has to roll the strength first, so 2d6. 12, okay. What, strength 12? No, but what actually happens if I roll 11 plus, every hit does d3 mortal wounds instead. Every hit does d3 mortal wounds instead. So that's going to be uh, joyful. So now is this heavy, d6. heavy d6. Mm. All right, do you want to spend a command point on that? No. No? no? You sure? Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Wait, no, actually, hold on. You're, hold on. You're, you're, you're show. Yeah, so that's... Uh, yeah. Yeah, yep, that's how you do it. Okay. I roll ones. Yep. All right, oh, so that's okay, a hit. All right. Another attack? No. No. Okay. <laughs> so, D3 mortal wounds. Ah! <laughs> do you want to spend the command point now to reroll, Steve? He has two left. No. He has two left, so he, he's not going to do it because he's saving it for a specific person oh. purpose, I'm sure. So they take a one wound. Uh, and now the killer cans are gonna go into them over here. So uh, we've got the big shooter. Fives because I advanced. Fives because he advanced. Uh, uh, Daka Daka though. They do get Daka Daka. Uh, that's two hits. That uh, is fours. gonna be one wound there. Uh, AP, nothing. nothing, so looking for three up. Ah, uh, he good. Rocket. One rocket. Hey! That's a hit. That's uh, not a wound they, though. They don't reroll. <laughs> Sorry, that was the extra attack because of Daka Daka. Ah! No, no. I knew it. I knew it. He is going to spend it. He's going to spend the command point on it. No! No! Into a two! Steve! Come Steve! on! Steve! Who are you, me? <laughs> <laughs> He's got... And one custom Mega Zappa shot in here. That is a miss. All right, so now these boys here are going to shoot into my Land Raider. So 30 shots here. Hitting on, um, hitting on uh, fours, right? Five, five. Oh, hitting on fives. Four works. Everyone and then re-rolling those ones. All right. And then sixes will allow you to roll more attacks over there. Wow, that's a bunch of sixes actually, there. That's, this is actually not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. And there's another five fives. over here. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Three, so you have six, nine. So an additional nine shots because of Daka Daka. All right. Get wow. a bunch more hits out of that. That's pretty good. All right. So these are now going to be strength four. Yeah. So looking for sixes to wound. Want to see some mountains? We're getting a bunch five, of mountains. That's not six. bad. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, six. Six mountains. Not bad, Steve. Can you, can you just... No, 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 no. He just wants to see all no, ones. No, no, no. Can I roll six ones? To be fair, anyone who's watched this this channel knows that I can. I can roll six ones. But will I is the question. Only the dice and perhaps the emperor knows. Uh, I did roll one. Oh, okay, so he did, he did chip the paint a little bit. Take it. You'll take it. All right, so down to 15. 
All right, that's it for the shooting phase into the assault phase. These boys are going to charge into my land raider. So we're going to fire Overwatch going with the uh, the twin assault cannon first, hitting on sixes. Getting one, two, three sixes. Not bad. Slightly above average. I'll take it. So this is going to be uh, three shots now, hitting on or uh, wounding on threes. Uh, getting one wound at AP minus one. Oh, just go straight through because they got the six up armor. And now the two Hurricane Bulgers are going to fire over here. So we've got uh, 24 shots from that. These are going to be... Oh, I'll come back here. All right, these are going to be hitting on sixes. Getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sixes. I don't get to get the extra shots on that, Steve, but <laughs> I'll still take it. Oh, man. Looking for fours to... Toughness four? Yeah. Toughness four, so fours to wound. All right, that's uh, a lot less than that, so three. Six three six-ups. Getting one, so only two died. And then the Storm Bolter firing in here, because I forgot about him. Uh, getting one hit, but no wound. All right, so he's got a nine inch charge to get in here. Getting it in, there goes the boys. All right, so the boys are gonna be going to work over here. We're gonna start off with the knob with the power claw. So he's gonna have three base attacks, plus one because there's more than 10 of them in the squad, and plus one because of war pass. So five attacks hitting on fours. Oof, this was Daka Daka, that would have been sweet. So here we go. Three hits, strength uh, eight. eight, so looking for fours to wound. Oh! Getting one wound. You know AP. What? Gonna, I, I don't care what cannon points are anymore. All right, gonna spend the, can, the, the command point no, there. No, so that's work. gonna be uh, one uh, minus three, so looking for a five up save. No, failed that, so D3 damage. Uh, two damage. All right, so he has 26 boys in there. They've got five attacks each. These are going to be 120 attacks. So we're gonna do the first 30. These are hitting on uh, threes, so we're going to figure that one out. All right, these are going to be wounding on sixes. Uh, okay, so we got one wound over there. All right, the second set of 30, hitting on threes. All right, we'll figure that one out. All right, these are going to be wounding on sixes, so getting uh, one, two more from that one. All right, here comes 90, the 90th set of attacks. Come back to you with that. All right, and these are now going to be wounding on sixes again. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, getting another two. And the last set of 40, hitting on threes. Come back to you with that. And wounding on sixes. Ooh, getting a bit more that time. That's pretty good. So we got uh, six, six uh, more wounds there. So 11 total wounds onto them. AP nothing, right? So looking for two up saves. Uh, okay, failing one, two, three of them. Wow. So I uh, I did my fair uh, my part there. Wow. <laughs> so he is down to ten. All right, so my land raider is going to attack back. I've got six attacks here, hitting on sixes, getting uh, two fill faces. There we go. Strength eight, so wounding on twos, getting uh, two wounds, two six up saves, making one, failing one. All right, so that's the end of the orcs turn here on turn one. I have to take a morale test over here. They lost five guys, so five plus. Uh, three is eight. That's a fail, so I'm going to uh, re-roll it because of and they shall know no fear. Into a four, so I lose two guys. I'll take it. <laughs> so much. Steve will take it so much. <laughs> All right, so that is the end of Work's turn here, turn one. Uh, he does score two points for holding those two objectives. Uh, we will come back to you after movement phase for the Death Watch here on turn one. All right, movement phase for the Order of Xenos. Uh, the Inquisitorial Acolytes and Eisenhorn disembarked from the Land Raider up to here. I just realized that I kind of had him parked in like a seeming parking lot space here. The way that like that drawings there. I didn't even mean to do that. That was pretty awesome. Okay, that's cool. I'm gonna go with it. Uh, so I have my inquisitorial acolytes and Heisenhorn jumped up on the building over here. My uh, uh, my my veteran squad over here uh, disembarked over this way. Uh, my librarian disembarked over there. My watch master disembarked over here. These guys stood still. So did this veteran squad and my hell blasters. I mean my intercessors uh, had to stay in deep strike because uh, that's how the rules are now. So we will. That is it for the uh, movement phase. We'll come back to you with the psychic phase. All right. So we're going to start off with my librarian casting veil of time onto my veteran squad here. So looking for a six, uh, going off with a seven, and then I'm going to smite him over here. Uh, not going off with a three. All right, so my aggressor squad is going to fire into his boy squad back there. They are going to have 12 shots each plus 2d6 shots because they didn't move. So 12 shots each, that's 36 shots plus 2d6. 
getting an additional uh, 12, 20, uh, five shots. All right, 61 days, <laughs> hitting on threes. They're within six inches of the of the Watchmaster, so re-rolling. Here we go. Yeah, we're gonna come back to you with that one. All right, so re-rolling because of the Watchmaster. We'll come back to you with that. All right, 52 hits. These are going to be strength four, wounding on fours. Come back to you with that. All right, 26 wounds. Here we go, looking for sixes. Cause there's no. Oh, looking for fives, because they got the five up uh, custom force field over there. All right, we'll come back to that. It was exactly 20 fails, so exactly the entire squad is dead. And that is first blood. All right, so this squad here is gonna fire into them. I've got 12 shots. I'm gonna be using the uh, the Hellfire round, so wounding on twos. Hitting on threes, though. Rerolling because of the Watchmaster. All right, one miss. Wounding on twos. All right, so that is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten wounds. Uh, AP nothing. Six ups. Six ups. Making none of them, so ten dead. All right, my Inquisitorial Acolytes are going to fire into them. I'm going to fire all uh, three of the squads because they're one squad, one man per squad here. They're all going to fire into them over there. So there's going to be uh, six shots each here, hot shot las guns. These are going to be hitting on fours. Yeah. All right, so that's uh, exactly statistical, actually. I just looked in the middle part there. That's what got me all worked up over there. Uh, so these are going to be strength three, so looking for fives to wound. Get into nothing. All right, so now my Watchmaster is going to fire into these guys here, hitting on twos with his. He's got the Bane Bolts of Eryxia. Not that it really matters against these guys. Rerolling because of himself. So that's going to be two hits, wounding on uh, fours. Get in nothing. All right, so my opponent was a very nice guy that I, because I didn't mention that I was going to be doing uh, the Hellfire rounds to wound on twos just because the AP, don't, I don't need any higher AP. So he was very kind to say that two of his guys are dead. So thank you very much, Steve. Librarian is going to do the same thing over here with his bolt pistol. That is a hit. Wounded on twos. That is a wound. Six up save. Oh, good yeah, they got to save. He doesn't have AP on his bolt pistol. No, he's dead. And now this squad's gonna fire into them uh, using the Hellfire rounds as well. We're gonna do the two um, uh, uh, Stalker Pattern bolt guns first. So these are gonna be hitting on threes. All right, re-rolling because of the Watchmaster down there. So that is going to be three hits. Wounding on twos because of Hellfire rounds. Uh, getting one wound, so that is one dead guy. And then the Bolter, regular Bolter guys are gonna fire in there. Two of them are in rapid fire range, so these are gonna be hitting on threes. Rerolling because of the Watchmaster. All hits, wounded on twos. That is going to be four AP, uh, AP nothing, so four six ups. No, four dead guy. All right, so that is it for the shooting phase. Now into the assault phase. My veterans here are gonna charge into his orcs over here. So he's gonna fire Overwatch, hitting on sixes. Nope, not getting anything there. Charge distance is it. All right, so we're gonna start with my Black Shield and my uh, Sergeant. They both, he has a Xeno Phase Blade, he has a Power Sword, but it's basically the same thing. So they're gonna attack in over here. They've got uh, three attacks each. These are gonna be hitting on threes. All righty. These are now gonna be Strength Four, so looking for, uh, looking for fours to wound. Uh, okay, getting two wounds, so that's AP minus three. That's two dead guys. And now my, uh, my Vanguard Vet with the two Lightning Claws is gonna attack in, so three attacks. Hitting on three, re-rolling because of the lightning claws. That's still just two hits. Wounding on fours. That is one wound, AP minus one, so that's one dead guy. It was re-rolled a wound, but I re-rolled to hit, so we agreed that we were just gonna call it even there and uh, just have one guy die. All right, so now the regular guys are gonna attack in here. We've got uh, two attacks each from the four guys, hitting on threes. Okie dokie. So that's gonna be five hits, looking for fours to wound. Getting <laughs> one wound. Six up safe, take, you can borrow one of my dice. Oh, and he, do, oh, he doesn't make it, he needed a six. No fill face for you, sir. And now my Thunder Hammer gets to attack in. Two attacks hitting on fours. Getting one hit, wounding on a two. Oh, oh no, no, dude. <laughs> dice, you fickle mistress. All right, so now he gets to attack back. Three regular boys, five attacks each because of everything going on there. So these are gonna be hitting on threes. Come back to you with that. Wounded on fours, 
Getting one, two, three, four wounds. AP nothing, so four, three up saves. Uh, making all but one. One guy did. And now Da Claw's attacking in there. Hitting on fours, wounding on twos. That's two wounds. I'm going to put one at a time on my guy with the storm shield because that's what he's there for. Three up. Yeah, with the fill face. Three up. No, with the two. Blah, blah. He did. All right, so that is the end of the fight phase, morale phase. Yeah, they auto run just because of how many guys they lost there. So uh, that is going to be the end of Death Watch turn one here. I got one point because I got my land raider up onto the objective over there. Uh, so at the, the end of the turn here, uh, I got first blood and I hold one objective. My opponent held two objectives. So it is uh, two to two. So we'll come back to you after movement phase for the orcs here on turn two. All right, movement phase for the orcs here. These guys dropped in at the end, nine inches away from my veterans over here. Uh, the DACA jets are flying all around, crazy-like, like an orc. Uh, these boys have moved up over here. I guess they're not boys. These 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 grots, <laughs> these cans have moved up over here. Look it onto my uh, onto my can. Uh, <laughs> And then uh, everyone over here uh, shuffled around, moved up a bit over this way, including the Morkonaut. So that is it for the movement phase. We'll come back to you with the psychic phase. All right, so he is going to smite into the land raider over here. Going off with a six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Does he get the benefit, the bonus no, from that? No, not from Graz anymore. Oh, not from Graz anyway, relic. so he just gets the relic. So it gets to ten, it's not more than ten, so he doesn't get the benefit for the uh, super smite. So D3 mortal wounds. Ooh, three mortal wounds, pretty good. And his deck jet here is going to start us off in the shooting phase by firing into my dude bros over here. So here he comes. Uh, uh, no more command points you can't spend on Daka Daka. So here we go. These are going to be hitting on uh, fives. We're rolling the ones because of bad moons. And one more because of that six. All right. Hitting on fours. Hitting on fours. That's right. So we'll come back to that. All right. Strength six. So wounding on threes. All right, not bad. So that's going to be three, six, seven, eight wounds. Ooh, get back here, die. Eight wounds. These are going to be AP minus one, right? Yep. So looking for four up saves. Ooh, one, two, dead. Bah, bah. All right, so now the Morkonaut is going to fire all of his guns into my Land Raider, except for the twin big shooter, which is going to go into my aggressor. So here comes the twin big shooter. Hitting on Five. fives, re-rolling ones, and then uh, looking for extra shots because of the daka daka there. So three more shots. Pretty oh. good. Re-rolling ones. Nice. There we go. These are now strength uh, five. five, so looking for fours to wound. Getting uh, one, two, three wounds. Three ups. Oh. Failing two, and he is dead. And now the rockets into my land raider. That is rerolling the ones. So that's two hits. Extra and the extra attack is a deck attack. Oh, three man. hits. Three hits on two dice. Pretty good. One. Well, okay, one. <laughs> Minus two. Minus two, so looking for a four up. Yeah, he's good with a filth phase. Woo! Custom Mega Blessa is not a hit, but rerolling ones because of bad moons. Yep. No, still no hit. And now the Custom Mega Zappa, heavy 3d3. So that's going to be, wow, pretty good there. So that's going to be three, six, seven, eight shots. Hitting on uh, fives, re-rolling re ones, and then two more shots because of those sixes. Wow, that's how you do it. Here we go. This is strength eight. eight so looking for fours to wound. Oh my wow, God. that is how you do it. So that's going to be six wounds. Minus three. Six minus three. So we've got five up saves. Uh, making two of them. Are they how many damage? D6. D6 a piece? No way! Uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, he did. <laughs> does he explode? No, he does not. All right, so now his uh, his kill cans here are going to fire into my dude bros up over here. So, big shooter. Big shooter. That is a uh, that's, uh, that's one of my nice. The fill face is uh, a it's, six. It's two hit on so, that's hitting on force. Oh, did they get um, no, Daka they Daka? Don't, they don't get Daka. They don't get oh, Daka. Daka. They do get Daka. Right. Daka. One more shot. So, they get one more shot. It missed. It missed. So, that is two, uh, wounds. two wounds, though. Uh, AP. Nothing. Nothing. So two upstairs because they're in cover. Uh, making them both. Okay. And the rocket? No. no hit. Custom Mega Blaster. Custom Mega Blaster. Hey. Does hit. Daka, daka, and Deca, Deca, Deca. So that's going to be hits. two hits. On threes. On threes. One wound. AP? Minus three. Minus three. So looking for a plus one because they're in cover. Five up save. New dig guy. And now his Deca Jet is going to fire into my veterans up over here. These are going to be uh, hitting on uh, fours. fours. 
because he gets plus one to hit against things. Do you get to reroll because of uh, oh, we're rolling ones. rerolling ones? Right, number of things. There we go. One, three, four, five, six, six, six. Get in an additional six shots because of Deca Deca. Pretty good. Rerolling ones. That was it, yeah. yeah. All right. Pretty good. Yeah. These are strength uh, six. six, so looking for threes to wound. Minus one. Minus one. So that is going to be uh, three, six, seven, eight. So that's going to be uh, eight. AP minus one, plus one because they're in cover. Three ups. <laughs> That is, uh, and that is all of them. Bwomp, bwomp. All right, so that's it for the shooting phase because these guys have eight inch range and they just dropped in nine inches away. So he is going to go first. He's going to charge in here. I'm going to fire uh, with my, uh, I'm going to do the plus one AP round so that I can still get rapid fire shots here. So that's going to be uh, looking for sixes and uh, not in range of my master. So there's nothing, nothing there. So here we go. His charge, looking for a nine inches. No, uh, does not make it. But here we go. He's just gonna reroll that one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, oh. he is in. Okay. And this guy too, nine inches. Uh, here we go, rerolling both. Cause you can do that now. No, he's not gonna get in. But I feel like he's probably gonna have fun there. All right, so uh, that's it for the charges into the fight phase. I actually go first because of Veil of Time that was on them. They go first. So we're gonna go with the uh, Sergeant and the Black Shield first. Six attacks here, hitting on threes. All right, these are gonna be strength four, toughness seven, so looking for fives to wound. Getting two wounds, AP minus three. Ooh, six up. Six up saves. No, does two wounds go through? And now my Vanguard Vet's gonna attack into him. Three attacks because of the pair of Lightning Claws. Hitting on threes, getting two hits. Wounding on fives. Rerolling because of Shred, I got it right this time. Getting one wound, AP uh, minus two. And he's going to another wound. And then the three other guys have six attacks, hitting on threes. Uh, getting two misses, so that's gonna be four hits. These are going to be wounding on um, top of seven, so wounding on fives again. Getting nothing. And now he's gonna attack back, hitting on threes. All right, wounded on twos. That is gonna be uh, two wounds, AP minus three. So we're looking for six up serves. Uh, making neither of them as two dead guys. And that is it for the orc turn here. At the end of the turn, he scores uh, one, two more points. Um, do you have a character on either? I don't. You don't have a character either on those yet. So he's going to have uh, my uh, Steve is now leading uh, four to two. So we'll come back to you after movement phase for the uh, for the Order of Xenos here on turn two. All right, movement phase. My veteran squad fell back, but they have a Vanguard vet, so they'll be able to shoot. My librarian and my watchmaster stayed still. Eisenhorn and his dude bros stood still. And coming in over here, my intercessor squad with a whole bunch of hell blasters dropped in over here, uh, looking on his uh, big old dude bro over there. So that is going to be it for the movement phase. We'll come back to you with the psychic phase. All right, psychic phase, we're gonna start with my librarian here, putting Veil of Time on those guys again, looking for six, getting it with a seven. Uh, are you within 24? Let's find out. All right, he's gonna let that one go, and now he is going to smite, which I think is going into your DACA jet over here. Uh, that goes off with a five. We'll Do you try. wanna try to deny it? We'll try. Uh, no, you will succeed, sir. You will not just try, you will succeed. <laughs> and now Eisenhorn, who I forgot about last time, is going to cast <laughs> smite into his dude bro over there. Uh, getting it with a seven, so that's gonna go off. He gets D3 mortal wounds. Uh, three mortal wounds, I'll take that. All right, so now my veteran squad here is going to shoot into his, uh, into his death dread over here. Uh, my Vanguard vet's gonna throw a crack grenade. Everyone else is going to shoot their bolters using the uh, AP minus two shots. So uh, the black one's going to be the uh, crack grenade. Hitting on threes. And now they are within range of my dude bro. Uh, Watchmaster dude bro. So that's gonna be all hits there. These are going to be wounding on fives. This is going to be wounding on a five as well. <laughs> Strength six, yeah. So everything's wounding on fives. All right, so we've got three wounds. These are gonna be at AP, everything's at AP minus two, but this one is special. So we gotta do, we'll do this one first. Oh, first. That one first. Oh. On a five, oh, AP minus, minus two. two. We're good. Yeah. Oh, they're good, jerk. And then three <laughs> regular ones. Oh. Uh, so two go through. So that's gonna uh, be two wounds. Oh, that's, uh, oh, is he dead? Oh, does he blow up? Oh, he does! <laughs> Steve. Orcs blow up good. Steve. Orcs blow up real good. You know what? Just because you're ramshackle <laughs> does not mean that you have to blow up. I, have a feeling I get that it's very thematic that the orcs just blow up at everything, I but I literally just shot like a like a bolt round into you. 
Only, <laughs> only D3 I'm, Mortal Wounds. If you roll a Nether Mountain, I am going to be... Okay. okay, okay. <laughs> I'll let you off this time. Next time, we're done. <laughs> we're done. It's over. It's over. <laughs> All right, these guys are now going to fire into this guy with my hot shot las guns. That is going to be one hit, wounding on a six. No, no wound. All right, my watchmaster is going to fire into his deca jet up here. Uh, so he's going to have two shots. I got the bane bolts of Erixia. I'm going to be using the uh, the AP minus an additional AP minus one uh, because of uh, I want to keep him in rapid fire range. So plus six inches to the range there. So this is going to be two shots. These are going to be hitting on uh, hitting on threes because he's hard to hit. But both hits. These are going to be wounding on toughness six. six. So it's looking for fives to wound. Getting two wounds, AP minus two. So six up saves. Six up saves. No, both go six through for damage. three damage each, so that's going to be six damage. Pretty good. All right, my librarian's going to throw a crack grenade into him because I think that's hilarious. Throw high. Uh, here we go. He's going to throw a real high here, hitting on a four. Oh, yeah, he does. Black here we go. <laughs> Flat crack, exactly. Wounded on a four. No, of course. Yeah. I'm going to spend a command point to reroll that because I think it's hilarious. No, of course the dice don't appreciate humor. Of course they don't. Ugh. All right, now this intercessor squad is going to fire into his Morkonaut. We're going to go with the Hellblasters that are a part of it first. Uh, they are going to supercharge and shoot into him. So they're going to be uh, rapid fire range. So we're going to go over here for this. So it's going to be 10 shots. Got to do it one at a time. So hitting on a three. All right, that's two hits. Come here, dice. Don't be jerks. That's two hits. Uh, one miss, but not a blow up, which is nice. Uh, uh, one hit and one that does blow up. And one miss that doesn't blow up and a hit. So one guy's going to be dead, but these all hit. Strength eight, looking for fours to wound. Okay. okay, that's pretty good. I will take that. So we've got six wounds. These are going to be AP minus four, but he's got a five up, uh, right? Yep. Custom five force up. field, five up. Oh. You know what? You know what? I hate you. You are you're you're dead to me. You're dead to me. So three go through. You're dead to me. Three go through. So that's gonna be six damage. You're dead to me. All right. So now the uh, the intercessors are gonna fire. They're gonna fire with the minus two. Uh, so still in rapid fire range. So these are going to be uh, uh, ten shots here, hitting on threes. These don't hurt people. So these are now going to be wounding on uh, strength five. So sixes. Oh, no, Give me some. Five? No, strength four. I'm, I lied. So, yeah, nothing there. It doesn't matter how much AP you got. Nothing. And that is it for the Ordo Xenos here on turn two. Uh, no one has to take any morale tests. Uh, I'm not going to charge anybody, and that is going to be the end of the turn. So, we'll come back to you after movement phase for the orcs here on. I don't get any points because I got nobody on nothing. So, that's going to be uh, orc turn here, turn three. Movement phase for the orcs. Morkonaut's making his way over here. Big Mech ran up there to get onto the objective and to heal him. He healed him two wounds, right? Healed him two wounds. Dem Grot's moving up over this way. Uh, Dem Psyche Boy is over here. One Dakajet turned up over this way. That's the hurt one. The other Dakajet's like, I'm going to shoot some stuff and moved over this way. Uh, these uh, Killicans moved up over this way towards my dude bros and his uh, Death Dread over here moved up towards my other dude bros. So that is gonna be it for the movement phase. We'll come back to you with the psychic phase. All right, something we never saw coming, he's gonna warp path his grots. Oh no, I just died. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> oh man. He was gonna jump on an objective. He was gonna jump on objective. Oh, but, but, but what? That's gonna hurt them too, right? Possibly, one second, we gotta figure this one out because that very rarely happens. All right, so it's two, three wounds to these guys, two wounds to so two grots die. Yeah, but they get sucked into it over there. Warp. All right, so that's it for the psychic phase since the psyker's dead. Uh, this Dagajet is now going to fire into my dude bros over here. So he's going to be hitting on fives because he's bracketed. All right. But do you get rerolling them ones and then getting to roll four extra rolls there because of uh, Daka Daka? Nothing helping you there. But still not terrible. Yeah, not bad. Strength six, right? Yes, so sir. wounding on threes. That is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wounds. AP minus one, right? Yep. If I'm correct. So these are going to be uh, wounding, uh, looking for four ups. Wounding on nothing. Oh, look at all those <laughs> fill faces. I will take that. But uh, one guy does take a wound. All right, them grots, now that they can't be warp ass since their uh, psyker got sucked into the warp, are now going to shoot their grot guns into my guy over here. So it's going to be 10 shots since two of them are dead. Fours. Looking for fours. Uh, there you go. Daka -daka. One Daka Daka. 
These are now going to be looking for Five. fives. So getting uh, two wounds, two three up saves. You kidding me? You kidding me? You died to grots? Go home. You would go home if you were dead. I would have sent you home anyway. God, disappoint me. Uh, the Morganaut in a bold strategy is going to shoot his grass, JK. He's going to shoot my guys over here. So <laughs> this is going to be the uh, big, shooter. big shooters. Big shooters. Hitting on, uh, that one's cocked as all get up. Uh, we're hitting on fives. We're hitting on fives. Rerolling this one. Rerolling one. Getting and one more for Deca Deca. All right. These are now strength four. Four. So, so five, five. Five. So threes to wound. Getting uh, four wounds. AP nothing, though. So three up saves. Uh, one wound. And now this is the uh, custom mega blast. Custom mega blaster, Missed. not a hit. And then we've got the Zappa. Zappa. Uh, two, it's going to two, five four, shots. five shots. These are going to be hitting on five. Rerolling ones because of uh, mm. bad moves. Mm. No, nothing, mm. nothing happening the there. Rockets. And then the rockets. Mm. Nope, nope, mm. nothing okay. there. Two scorches are going to go in here. Mm. Getting four mm. hits. Mm. Threes. Looking for threes. Getting three wounds. AP minus one. So three, four up saves. <clears throat> Steve was uh, Steve was not happy. He only got four hits. Oh, I can't. Um, I'll teach you to not wear a helmet, and I'll teach you to wear a flammable coat cloak. You have no excuse. No excuse. Maybe it leaky jet fuel. That must be what it is. Oh, that's, that is uh, real special. <laughs> real, real special. These guys are going to shoot into my librarian over here. Big shooter. Big fours. shooter. Fours to hit. Daka, daka, daka. And threes. And threes to wound. Two wounds. No rend. No rend. So looking for three ups. Getting one wound. Rocket. That is a hit. Yep. And two. That is a wound. Minus two. Minus two. Five up. Nope. Three damage. So he is da -da -da dead. All right, Dakajet here is going after Eisenhorn. Man, he has got orc-sized cojones over here going for this one. Uh, fours. Hitting on fours. Rerolling those ones because of bad moons. And then how many sixes? Just two? Getting two sixes. Okay. Getting more hits because everything's shooting into Eisenhorn. All right, these are now strength six, so I think wounding on twos. Okay, that's a whole lot of wounds. I got to figure out what his armor save is. All right, so it's AP minus one. He's got a four up save, so it's going to be in cover. So four up armor saves. Uh, yeah, that's how you do that. So taking three wounds, but Inquisitor Eisenhorn is no stranger to pain. That's literally what the rule is called. No stranger to pain. Six up, feel no pain. Uh, he felt less pain, but he's still feeling pretty painful. So it's like me when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> All right, that's it for the shooting phase. So the kill cans here are going to charge into my Watchmaster. I'm going to fire using the uh, AP minus two uh, shots from his gun because of uh, uh, special issue ammunition. So that is going to be uh, one hit. Uh, Rerolling because of himself. So that is still one hit. Uh, strength four. So this is going to be looking for a five to wound. Getting a wound, AP minus three. Six up. Six up. No, goes through. Three damage. Oh, that's going to hurt him. That is a big deal. And their charge distance uh, is in. All right, now his murder grots are going to try to charge into my guys over here. So we're going to go with the Hellblasters first. Not going to supercharge. Hitting on sixes, getting one hit. Uh, that's a dead grot right there. And then we're going to have uh, two, four, six, eight uh, shots with the bolters. Uh, that is going to get one hit. Wounded on a two. That is a wound. So that's another dead grot. Uh, so take it. All right, and their charge distance. Uh, yeah, it's in. That's not great for me because now I cannot shoot Overwatch on the big guy. You roll this and now this dude bro is going to charge in. He is way in. <laughs> Boops. All right, so now his kill cans are going to start us off here by attacking into my Watchmaster. So he's going to go with the Drilla first. So he's going to be hitting on fives. Getting okay. two hits. Rerolling ones, right? Or is no, that only shooting? shooting? Only shooting for the bad This is strength six. Strength six. So getting uh, one wound. That also does a mortal wound. It does a mortal wound. So he takes one mortal wound and does minus four. AP minus four. So he's going to have a four up invul save, which he fails. Damage? Two damage. Two damage. So it's a total of three damage onto him. 
Ugh, gross. And now the clan claw is going to attack in there, hitting on fives, getting one hit. Two. Wound on two, that's a wound. AP. Minus three. Minus three, so looking for a four up uh, invul save. He's good with a fell face. Woo! And now the buzzsaw to be the buzz. Uh, be, the buzz saw is going to be the uh, buzz the buzz kill. kill. That's what I was trying to get out. Wound oh. on three, so that's going to be one wound. Won't kill you. AP. Minus three, minus two. Minus, minus two. two, so looking for a four up. No, he fails that. Two damage, two damage so he's down to one wound. Two damage. All right, I'm going to spend two command points to uh, to interrupt here because I just want to uh, be a spoil sport and let his murder grots not be able to kill somebody. So we're going to go over here. So one, two, three, four, five guys are going to go into his murder grots over here. So they've got two attacks each. So this is going to be 10 attacks total. These are going to be hitting on threes. All right. Strength uh, four, toughness two. So looking for twos to wound. All right. All but one. They got six up saves. How many got there? Uh, six, seven, eight wounds. Eight, six ups. Nope. None of them. So they are dead. Steve just said they murdered two command points, which is very true. So now my other three guys are going to attack in here, including my sergeant. So these are going to be hitting on threes. All right, pretty good. Wounding on sixes, though. Show me them, Phil Face. Uh, one. I got one Phil Face. Three up. No, I didn't even peel a paint. All right, so he's going to attack into me now with sweeping attacks. Twelve attacks, hitting on threes. Oof. Mm, All right, these are going to be and wounded on twos. Yes, twos. Yeah, twos to wound. So we've got one, two, three, four, five wounds. AP uh, minus two. AP minus two. So looking for five ups. Uh, getting one. So that's going to be four through. What's the damage? D three each. So no. one at a time. That's yeah. going to be two no. is going to kill a guy. Oh no, no the first one. Yeah. The first one killed a guy. No, no, no. First one killed a guy because there's a guy with a wound. Oh, nice. So that killed a guy. So then we've got the next one is two wounds. That's a dead guy. That is not, and the other one's going to kill a guy. So three guys dead total. So now my Watchmaster is going to attack back. He's got four attacks. He's going to be hitting on twos. All right, those are all hits. These are going to be wounding on fours because it's strength plus one. Their toughness five. Uh, getting two wounds at AP minus three. Six up. Six up, sirs. Uh, failed both of them. So the first one's D, D something. One second. So the first one is D three wounds. I'm gonna spend a command point to reroll that. Into the two, so that's gonna kill that guy. Does he blow up? He, oh, he does, does blow up. Um, okay, so he one mortal wound. He's gonna get one mortal wound to, uh, does my guy, is yeah. it within six inches yeah. or is it oh, three inches? Ooh, ooh, we gotta find out. Uh, All right, so it's gonna do one to the unit. He's not uh, within um, range of my guy, guy, so it's gonna go on to this guy over here. So he's got one wound, and then he's gonna take an additional D3 from the second wound with the, with the blade. One damage, so just oh, two down. All right, so that's the end of the turn. So we've got over here, we've got leadership test. Okay, we're good. Four is good. Plus one, they're good. They have a leadership six. So they could have run away, which would have been hilarious. And then over here, I lost five guys. So five plus uh, two is seven. They are good to go. So that is it for the orcs turn here on turn three. Uh, he scores an additional point over here, and he's got a character on it. So he's probably just going to stick around on that one and get more points. So we'll come back to you after movement phase for the Order of Xenos here on turn three. All right, movement phase. My watchmaster stood, stayed in combat over there. Eisenhorn and his dude bros stood still up over here. Over here, my guys fell back out of combat up onto this uh, slightly raised platform, which makes it impossible for him to charge. I said I wasn't going to do it because I felt like it was it was not the right thing to do. But Steve was like, no, "Don't be a jerk. You got to do you it. You got to do it." So on my slightly raised platform over here, he can't uh, charge into me. But I mean, he's got a lot of DECA. He's got a lot of DECA, so he's probably going to take care of me no problem. But still. You know, I just was like, womp, womp. So that is going to be it for movement phase. Uh, I've got mo oh, do I do have second left. I forgot. Eisenhower is still alive. All right, so Eisenhower is now going to smite into him up here. Uh, getting a 10. Oh. All right, I'm going to spend a command point to reroll this. No, back into a 4. So it's just going to be a 10. I can get the D6. So D3, uh, two mortal wounds. Hot shot last guns into his uh, death dread over there, hitting on fours. <laughs> Three hits. Wounding on sixes. Getting one. AP minus two. Bye -bye. Ooh, he's good. And now Eisenhorn is going to wind up, throw a pitch at the plane up here with his Electrobane grenade. So it's going to be grenade one. Hitting on a three. That is a hit. 
Strength four, toughness six. So it's going to be looking for a five. No, getting a one. I'm going to spend a command point for that. Mm. <laughs> <gasps> All right, so that's it for shooting phase into the fight phase. My watchmaster is going to attack over here. He's got four attacks hitting on twos. That is all hits. Uh, wounding on fours. Getting one wound. This is going to be uh, AP minus uh, three. That's not enough. That's not enough. So D3 mortal wounds. Uh, D3 mortal wounds. Just D3 wounds. Three wounds. He's dead. Does he explode? No. He does not. So he is just gone. All right. He's going to have three attacks into me over here. Or four attacks because he's got the uh, the, the, the buzz kill over there. <laughs> mm. Only getting one hit though. And threes. Oh, that's a wound. AP minus two. two. So looking for a four up. I'm going to spend his reroll on this one. Nope, he's dead. And that is Slay the Warlord. All right, so at the end of the phase, he can possibly run away. No, he's oh, good he's to go. Old. He's going to stay right there. So that is it for the uh, the Order of Xenos here on turn three. We'll come back to you after movement phase for Dem Orcs here on turn four. All right, so movement phase for the Orcs. His uh, uh, Morkanaut here moved around. Uh, his Dakajet moved over here. This Dakajet moved over here. All looking on these guys over here. Uh, his uh, Big Mech stood still and then repaired uh, his Morkanaut, giving him three more wounds, so he's up to 17. Uh, over here, both of these guys decided to come and try to pay a visit to Eisenhorn and his uh, three little pigs. And that is going to be it. So we will come back to you. Every All psychers except for my guy are dead. So we're going to come back to you with the shooting phase. All right, so this guy here is going to put his uh, his Scorchas one into uh, two of these guys. So we'll go one, two, or no, we'll do one, yeah, two yeah, exactly. this way. So the first guy on the left is going to get two. And that is one. strength five, right? So it's yeah. going to be one wound, AP minus one, plus one because they're in cover. Uh, no, he's dead. And then into the second guy. Ooh, getting four. These are going to be uh, two. getting two wounds there. Uh, oh, four up, AP minus one. Yeah, he's good to go. Yeah! And he's going to put a big shooter into one of these guys. Fours. Looking oh, for daka, fours. Daka, 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 daka. So four. getting three hits. And threes. Looking for threes. That's three wounds. No AP. No AP. Oh, but he's still dead. All right, the Big Mac is now going to shoot into these guys over here. So the big shock attack gun, the strength. Strength first. Oh, is yeah. four. Oh, fantastic. And six shots. Six shots, shots though. So we'll come back to you with that. So these are going to be hitting on uh, hitting on Five. fives. Reroll so we're getting re-rolling ones because of bad moons. So getting two hits. Daka, daka, daka. Daka, daka, daka. Getting three hits. Pretty good. Force. Strength four. So force to wound. One five. wound. AP minus five. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's uh, eight damage. Uh, D6. D6 damage. D6 that's three. a dead guy. And now the Morkonaut's going to try to finish him off because he's upset that he doesn't get to punch them. Her so we're going to go with the rockets first. Uh -huh. No hits there. Mega Blasta? Mega Blasta. Nope. No hit there. <laughs> the big one? The big one. Uh, three, uh, six, eight. Three, six, eight. Attacks coming in here. On fives. On fives. <gasps> oh, Daka Daka. Oh. He needs to get more dice. <laughs> Whoa, good ones. thing Daka Daka doesn't blow up on that one. Oh, oh man. man, that oh, was a hit. Goodness. That is a lot. These are strength. Twos. Oh, yeah, we're not twos. Yeah. All right. Minus three. Minus three. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, minus three. So we need seven uh, saves here. Minus three, plus one because they're in cover. So five ups. Ooh, pretty good, but I don't think enough. That's four. What's the damage? D6. D6. So the yeah, first I can, one. I can roll them all together because if any ones are just... Oh, no, I can't. No, yeah. Two yeah. is dead guy. Dead guy. Dead guy. Dead guy. So that is the squad. Whoa, 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 wiped. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, Eisenhorn's calling in for an evac. Him and his last dude bro <laughs> flying off the planet, and uh, he's calling in for exterminat. So, <laughs> <laughs> so an orc victory. Well done, Steve. Well done. That was a good game. I had a blast. I had a ton of fun playing this. And the new orcs are no joke. Oh, they are so good. So good. So good. So good. Oh, man. At first... He was, he was worried about those aggressors, which, to be fair, he should have been because <laughs> they did a lot of work, even though he, like, messed them up real hard. And then he just, you know, and did, then he was just like, all right, well, now I'm just going to wipe Wait, units what? across the board. Oh, yeah, what aggressors? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, the intercessors. Yeah, yeah, intercessors. Yeah, yeah. The intercessors. <laughs> those T5 intercessors with the bolt storm gauntlets. 
Yes, uh, they <laughs> uh, got wiped out. So, yeah, a uh, heck of a good time. I've had a blast here, and uh, my opponent is a heck of a swell guy. So go check out his channel. Link is in the description below. Tell him that Phil the Glacial Geek sent you, uh, even though you're probably already a subscriber. But, <laughs> all right. So I hope you guys have all enjoyed it. I certainly have. I have been Phil the Glacial Geek as always. My opponent's been Steve. And until next time, have fun.